The fifth way of praying is a pretty obvious one, really, the Lord's Prayer. But the Lord's Prayer is so well known that we rattle through reciting it. But Jesus gave it to his disciples as a pattern for prayer. There's nothing wrong with saying it as it is. In fact, it covers everything. And on those days when we don't know what to say or we can't manage to pray, it's brilliant that we can use it. But we can also use it as a template for praying at a little more length. So here's an example of how that might work. Remember, God is our Father, the one who knows and loves us and who is listening. He is above all things. Still our minds and remember how great he is. What does praying for his kingdom to come mean in my world today? Think of those places in our world where there is fighting, injustice, oppression. What does it look like when God's will is done? Pray for all those who work to make that a reality. Thank God for all we have and pray for those who don't have daily bread. And for those who work to be the answer to this prayer. How could we help with that? Confess our sins to God and honestly think of anyone we have a grudge against or find it difficult to forgive. Ask God to help. Think of the things that face us in the day ahead. Ask for the guidance and strength of God's Holy Spirit to live in a way which pleases him. Remember that our life, our day, our world are held in God's hands and praise him for all that he has done. Pray that we too will hasten the coming of his kingdom.